On this episode of Skippy Rock, I help my friends replace a door with a hidden bookcase door from murphydoor.com. I'll show you how we removed the existing door, what we measured and what we ordered from murphydoor.com, and how we assembled and installed the hidden bookcase door. My friends would like a hidden door bookcase thing here. We're going to order a door from Murphy Doors. Yes. Murphydoors.com. They did not sponsor this. This is where the door is going to be. We're going to show you what we need to measure so we can order a door. First thing you have to do is get this door off. You can pop the hinges, but I'm just going to unscrew it because the door is going in the trash. Good job. Just throw this down the stairs. To order the door, we need the rough opening, which is the space between the 2x4s that surround the door. To measure this, I need to remove the casing or the trim around the door first. The casing is caulked to the drywall, so cutting the caulk with a utility knife before you remove it can help to prevent tears in the drywall. Jason's here! This is our musician. Now that I've trimmed and we've been rudely interrupted, I'm going to tear this apart. And this is where your house starts falling apart. This part is just delicate brute force. I'm hammering in a small thin pry bar between the casing and the door jamb and prying the casing loose. It's just held in place by brad nails and caulk. See that brown spot at the top of the door on the drywall? That's why I didn't slice the caulk good enough and got a paper tear. This video is brought to you by Food Lion. They also didn't sponsor Food Lion. We have food. The instructions on the murphydoor.com say to measure the rough opening of the door. The rough opening is the two by fours that surround the door. So that's why you have to take the frame off to measure. So our rough opening is 32 and three fourths by 83 and a quarter. That is the rough opening measurements we will use to order the door online. I, I'm sorry, I winked. Now that we've got the trim off, there's little nails that go through this thing holding this thing into the wall. So you have to chop all those nails. Reciprocating saw. It's going down! Ta-da! All right, and that is what a rough opening looks like. We ordered the hidden bookcase door from murphydoor.com, and we just ordered straight from the mobile website. We selected MDF as our wood core and went with the moisture-resistant paint grade upgrade because we planned to paint the door to match the rest of the trim in the house. Our rough opening was just over 32 inches, so we went with the 30-inch wide door for a 32-inch rough opening. Our door height rough opening was 83 inches tall, so we went with the 80-inch door for an 82-inch rough opening. We didn't have any space limitations, so we went with the standard 8 and 1 4th inch deep door depth. For our application, we needed an outswing door because of the stairs behind the door, and we needed the hinges to be on the left side. The last measurement you need is jam depth. This is the measurement from finished edge of drywall to finished edge of drywall, with the 2x4 in between. The measurement should add up to roughly two pieces of drywall plus the width of a 2x4. In our case, this was the standard depth. We then chose standard front and rear casing. We did not select any entablature, locking security system, and we did not pay for the rush. We did add the hidden door book latch, which we'll see how that ends up working. And this is a total summary of our order. They shipped this door on a big crate in this. We, you could order one of two ways. You could order it pre-assembled or not assembled. We went ahead and ordered it unassembled because we figured it'd be easier to get up and down the stairs. We can't really carry this box all together like this, so I'm gonna open it up and we'll take all the parts upstairs. And He's here, cameraman. We started unassembling the box. We're gonna build the bookcase part first. There's instructions, tools. Wait, do we have to stain something? We're not gonna worry about that. I told them if they wanted it painted, they should open it up and paint it before I got here. They didn't. So now we're gonna put it together unpainted. Oh, we need wood glue. Oh, I had some. <laughs> Without wood glue, we could do the first five steps. That's an eighth of the way through the, or no. Can we build it? Like a tenth of the way through the project. So there's there. orange dowel pins. Those are already there. But they're not orange. No, they, they become, they lose their orangeness once they're inside of the wood. Once we figured out the instructions, we started working on the main body of the bookcase. The double thickness pieces are the top and the bottom. Put it together with the opening of the bookcase facing the floor. I'm currently installing this piece the wrong way. It is the top of the bookcase, you can tell because of the hole, but the pocket screw cutout should be facing out, not in. That doesn't look right. You're already on step three? The groove that runs along the length of the vertical board is the back side. The fixed middle shelf and top and bottom shelves have dowel holes, which will support the face of the bookcase. This should face the opening, 
or towards the floor with the way we are building it. These just slide into there. They say use a hammer, but they just snap right in. Wow, they underestimated the precision the strength, of their engineering. The strength of their installies. I'm an instally now. It says reinforce the corners with one inch square head pocket screws. We've decided that these funky looking, these guys are those. We haven't decided it, it is. We decided. Film in wide angle so you can see everything. Yeah. Right. We made a mistake. As I was putting this together, I realized it's kind of dumb to be able to see the drill holes on the inside of the door. But look, they show it kind of clear. Translucent. Translucent, so you just assume. you can see both sides. Then we realize they don't line up flush. So Being we're gonna, clear makes it not clear. We're gonna flush, flip them around. Okay, are we sure this is the top? So the top is usually the wider of the two, so this should be fine. The top is wider? Makes no sense. Why would the top be wider? So, do you want it to be parallel? No, what I mean is, usually when you do a bookcase, this small area is the bottom, oh. and hey. the tall area is the top. Really? Yeah. Why would it be like bottom? So it doesn't fall over and kill you. It does show it that way is because this says top. Once I corrected the orientation of my end panels, I placed the eight pocket screws, two in each corner. Go ahead. We're going to start installing the jam. The jam is the part that attaches it to the stuff. That's jam with a B. We did find out it's supposed to sit on floor. You can't sit it on carpet. So we have to cut this piece of carpet out so I can get to solid floor. And luckily this is not my house. I'm gonna cut straight down the middle and flop the carpet up. And then we'll put this down and we'll trim it to- That's the... a good idea. That way we have excess on either side of the hole. I didn't cut that. <laughs> <laughs> we There's all already saw... a seam there. Maybe we had just like tugged on it a little bit. We would have already seen that. Yeah, look, that's a seam. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient. Did you write on it? <laughs> no, it was already not even there. close. <laughs> we got to get this padding up and these little nail strips. Cutty cutty. If this is your house, guys, be real careful. If you're doing it for a friend, it doesn't matter. This is what holds the carpet down. That holds the carpet down? Yeah. Carpet oh, because the things stick up. Uh-huh. We can pause all the way back. Just go ahead. Okay, look. Is it going? Yeah. This is the bottom, the fatter piece, and the skinnier piece is at the top. You can tell which way to orient it because they both kind of go towards, the top one goes towards the front because those holes will line up. This will stick out towards the back. So they say the way to put the jam together is you start with the bottom. So it says line these up first and then put them together with a nail gun. And then you make sure they're square and then- Then you pre-drill and screw. Right, so. Speed square. Speed square, speed square, go. So after you brad nail this thing together, you use these screws. These are called- Screws. <laughs> you gotta pre-drill some holes. Confirm at screws. Confirm at. Coffee now. Maybe it's French. Do it each corner. Uh, didn't you it say pre drill the holes, but I guess it already it is pre drilled. What was the point of the brad nailing? It says into the pre drill holes. No, it said pre drill some holes. It says into the pre drill It says pre drill some holes. It doesn't. Why would it tell you to pre drill yes, holes? Yes, it means... says attach for evidence. I'm going to pause the video if I'm wrong. After ensuring that the corner is square, okay. pre-drill countersink and install confirmer screws. After ensuring that the corner is square, comma, there's, no comma. there's no comma. There is no comma. After square ensuring that this corner is square patrol. <laughs> square patrol. <laughs> square patrol. <laughs> These holes are already here. They're already pre-drilled? Yes. Which is a different pre-drill. Yes. <laughs> look. Look. All right. If they pre-drill, right. it was very unclear. Square oh, drill. Square. It was not square. Yeah, you forgot to square drill. This one doesn't line up. Is it not? Square Did you square drill it? Square drill it. <laughs> there's literally no hole. You do have to pre-drill it. Look down there. See if there's two down there. <laughs> there's again a bottom one, and then the other one is like offset. You can see if you look down in there. There's there is a hole, but it's like not even lined up with the other hole. We'll just add a new hole. We'll just put the bottom ones in first. What will I have to do to make that hole? Pre-drill. <laughs> yes. The jam did have pre-drilled holes. However, one on each corner didn't line up. Right. So we attached one in each corner, pre-drilled a new hole, 
and then place the final screw. Some guy then arrived with clamps and wood glue, so we moved back to the bookcase construction. Put your back into it. Lift with your back, not your legs. There we go. That's actually true now. They've, They've changed it? Yep. Actually, we're supposed to flip it over. So here. One, two. <gasps> we should have gone the opposite direction of each other. They would have made it into a movie, a movie strip. We're we'll about to figure out if we put this together right. Because you're supposed to glue in these little knobby doos. What do those do? This is what's going to hold the front onto the thing. Oh, the front, right. I forgot about the part. Hey, they go get a hammer. Oh, never mind. Engineered precisely enough that I was, we don't need I it. I was good enough that so I didn't need your hammer. Do you have to hit it anyway? Yeah. It's a big old dent in it. Oh! Why did that move? Small round glue on the dowels, insert them in the holes, twist them into place, will help spread the glue. I didn't twist it. Dry fit the face frame into the bookcase to ensure that the dowel holes align appropriately. Do you mind if I'm in your video? Do you mind? Do you mind if I sent? Do you mind if I help? Do you mm -hmm. give us consent? Absolutely. I I can't really help anyways because I'm filming. I want to help really bad because I love doing this stuff. All right, then help away. Okay. Just order me around like you were ordering me. Dry fit. Complete. <laughs> now we undry fit it. Apply glue to the perimeter of the bookcase. That's why I'm going to squirt all over the carpet. Uh-huh, that's fine. Someone else is quite not a fit enough glue. More all around, right? Yeah. You glue all sweeter. I watch all your um, go-kart videos. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, hope I, I upload them, too. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Because our family doesn't. Yeah. Oh, well, some of them don't even know how to sign into YouTube. Either. Yeah, so they can't subscribe. Our own family. I guess we could help them. The instructions called for six clamps. Clamps! But this didn't seem like enough, so we clamped the corners, then placed six pocket screws, three along the top and three along the bottom. Once the ends were secure, three clamps on each side worked just fine. That all set up, we're going to install the jam. Pump up the jam. Mic check, one, two. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put the jam in the hole. So what I want to do, I want to slide it up underneath. Peel, peel the carpet out of the way. I guess this will go flush with what? It the needs to be flush with the front. Wood or with the drywall? Drywall. I'm gonna have to cut the carpet out of the way. Do you have scissors? Okay. Carpet cutting scissors? I don't think that door's gonna go anywhere. All right, here, there you go. You don't, what are you holding? The frame. Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are now shimmying the door. We have no idea what we're doing. We're just kind of starting. We know we need to make the sides level and the base level. The base seemed pretty level. Does that look good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Using um, a 1 8 inch drill bit pre-drill and countersink two holes into the jam top. So we just put those big screws through there. They actually already pre-drilled these holes. Two inches from the top of the jam and six inches from the the sides here. There's already holes there. Oh, there sorry, there. Look, there's a hole right here. That's more like three inches. <laughs> there's a hole there, so I'm gonna use it. To secure the jam to the rough opening, you use eight three inch screws. There were three pre-drilled holes along each side and two at the top. You have to countersink each hole Over. first so the screw will sit flush with yeah. the trim. About a 100, 128th of an inch. We just went around with shims, a level, and a speed square until we had the jam secure and level. We didn't drill through the shims because we figured they would split, but that was dumb and it made it way harder to trim them flush at the end. 64th of an inch. Bye. From what? Is there a danger? <laughs> Don't worry. Are we in danger? With the jam secured, we install the hinges. The larger bearing is the lower hinge. Six. We are doing a left hand outswing. Let's check and make sure Nathan's still okay with that. It's like a glowy, glowy bacteria. That's from the Frank. Dana doesn't like it when I mention other YouTubers. Hey, he was not originally a YouTuber. Yes, he was. He was awesome. Always. And still is. I'm talking about he was around before YouTube. He probably was. He might have been on Ebon World. God, y'all remember that? So now we cut the shims flush with the jam. The process went much easier after we brad nailed the shims into place. If I was going to do this again, I would probably level and secure the jam with brad nails and shims and then go back with the large screws. We need to rotate so it faces that way a little bit. A little bit more. Because it slides in, the back yeah. slides in. Interesting. I think we got it. All right, hold on. Daniel, there's a little notch right there that's stopping it from moving forward. Uh, oh, yeah, what the heck? You like a screwdriver? I no, got I got it. it. I, got I think it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. 
a little jiggle. Mm -hmm. A little shimmy. All right, push. There we go. Keep on hammering. All right, we're using the pre-drilled holes as a guide to drill holes into the actual bookshelf. I'm gonna do all four, and now I'm gonna check to see if they were off-centered. No. Phew. If you really want to send it flying, you can crank up the power. <laughs> Whoa, did I strip it? Nah. <laughs> that means maybe, but it doesn't matter. Right, we're, tr we're mirroring these directions in our mind. Open your mind. But also, in our soul. We're holding it in a way that makes sense. Is there supposed to be a lip up here? Yeah. Mm, it's not in the drawing. Uh, I think it's just, uh, there's no difference in the plane and there's no ambient uh, occlusion. That's a graphics, computer graphics terminology. Oh, is it? So there might be people out there that understand what you're saying? Yes. Ambient occlusion is like, you know, light, less light bounces around in a corner because there's like less exposed surface to light. Nubbing towards the front end. Yep. <laughs> we then install the hinge brackets onto the completed bookcase. The friction door catch, M, is always installed on the door side opposite the hinge. Um, where is the uh, friction door latch? But I don't see both of these pieces. I don't see this either. We believe we've determined why we can't find this angle bracket. It's because the new parts was this in this box? look slightly different. So this thing with four holes seems to approximate this thing with two holes. And this funky do is maybe this thing? Let's put the door in the thing and see if it stays. Does it say to do that first? No, but that's how I'm going to do it. So we decided to install the bookcase without the latch, and we would go back and install the latch later. Let's uh, twist it up Rotation. Like a little bit. Dun 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 Steven broke his leg. He's got a hernia. That's a cliffhanger moment. Next time on Skippy Rock. Are you okay? Then this is the next episode. Uh, he was fine. All right, so rotate it this way. Pick it up. I don't think you're even no, close yet. No. You've got about like three inches to oh. go. Is it in? No, no, definitely not. Hold on. All right, my fingers are now underneath it. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna come back. Put the nubbin in the hole. Uh, lift up a little. All right, that should that be over it. That looks a lot better. Okay. So it's gotta be like perfectly in there or it's not gonna fit? Here, you need a light? No, I just have to do it by Sonar. Is that it? Is it in? Ooh. Oh, the bearings go up. The button faces down. It doesn't look like it's on. Is it not? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fixed it. So we had to turn it at an angle and he laid on the floor. We lined up that hole. Once it fell in the hole, it was easy to get the top part in. Yeah, if there's, there's, if it wasn't in the hole, there's not it was room. like just not enough for it. Yeah. But then there's a little pin that just goes up through there and crams into place. So now, la -la. yeah, so we, we need to sand this a little bit. It does bind a little It's probably just there. bowing right here in the yeah, middle. Yeah, maybe that if we can. We could probably push to screw that screw in a little bit and that might pull it in enough. Yeah. Currently all your hamsters can still get through this door quite easily. That is a hamster farm up there. <laughs> <laughs> there's three or four that screwed out while we were putting the door. <laughs> what next? I thought that was it. Yeah, <laughs> we're going home. See ya. Now try it. It's just gonna blow it somewhere. Else. Yeah, it actually got maybe even slightly worse. Pull it again. It's worse. It's not worse. It's I mean, that's one percent. way. Yeah, you just do the edge a little. You just take the corner off. It's, it's actually, actually really close all the way along. Yeah, all right. Until right, the very top. We'll just We'll just run some sandpaper on that corner. Yeah, before I you think that's it. pretty good. Yeah, even well, just like this, this beveling that edge Why? would probably take care of Please read the instructions before we begin. Attach the right casing onto the door jam with one half inch overlap overhanging the face frame. Make sure the door top of the casing has at least one sixteenth the clearance over the door itself. Do this side first. Huh, you put the casing on the this thing. Like uh -huh. there's actually enough room for something to go in here? Is that what no, you're like it looks like you do like... The casing goes with the door. Oh, that makes sense. Cause then it all looks like it's still built in. Okay, so you will have to clean up that wall a little bit. And then the other side just goes like this. Does it go in or does it come out? Yeah. That, was like, that was like weird. Well, okay. the other side goes in. This side goes so in. So you could still overlap it. Yeah, you go like that. 
Uh, yeah, back Look away. Eventually. What do you the mean? Top? Good question. Because that side stays, this side moves. What do you do with the top? This comes out. Some sort of... You cut a bunch of slices in the back and then it opens like a snake. We've learned something. So the casing on the hinge side, it attaches to the jam. And then on this side, it actually attaches to the door. So it swings out and it looks more built in. So we'll go ahead and we need to cut this one to be the same length as that or to stop at the same spot. And then we'll attach this one to the door. So we decided to brad nail. We needed to get the exact measurement on the top to match this side and also to get it in a certain direction. And it was not going to drill through without pre-drilling. The material is easy. Big. We did a brad nail situation. I'm surprised I have not bled on this project yet. Because I bleed on almost every single project I've ever made. We're going to just do one more thing and then we will be done. Ooh, I got a lot of glue on there. Wow, that glue dries fast. Tight bond. It brings true to the name. Although tight bond doesn't say anything about how fast it gets tight and how well it bonds. Well, it says how well it bonds tightly. God, there's so it's much already. editing I have to do. <laughs> Let's go do the top and then we're done for the day. It's funny because this side definitely doesn't look like complete. All right, we're just going to zap that up there. The only thing we need to do now is put the floor latch in. The floor latch is the book is part of the book thing. I think. Well, do we want to do the regular one till we get the book one here, or do we want to just wait to do the book I one? I wouldn't. I mean, it's, it's fine. Like, just, then you have to like uninstall it, and there's no. This is point. four screws. Uh, yeah, but you are putting four screws in that don't really need to be in there. These will yeah. be in the same spot. All right, whatever. It's still under construction, so it's just fine. So, how's it going? Yeah. This is how you install a Murphy door from MurphyDoors.com. <laughs> There's a couple of things we have to do that we didn't know about beforehand. We're not going to put the latch on the ground because we have a book latch that's going to like release it, which is different, but we have to modify this to put the latch in there. So I'm going to read up how to do that before I start drilling holes in this thing. This was unexpected. I kind of thought there'd be trim around the whole thing when you were done. So now we have to figure out how to dress this up. Probably what we'll do is just do some spackling between there and paint this. So that just looks like the drywall goes right up to that wood. And we don't have the trim on the back because honestly, that's something that we can do in three or four years later when they're selling the house and we have to finish it. But yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, this thing feels nice and heavy duty. I definitely would buy another one of these for my house if I had a good spot to put one. MurphyDoors.com. Come see the doors. Is it Murphy Doors or Murphy Doors? <laughs> doors, doors, doors. Is it an S? Is how many doors? S is Murphy MurphyDoor.com. Is it like Murph, like the Murphy bed? Is that the same thing? Yeah. yeah. They do. They make Murphy beds. We should have just done a bed here. You just like. What are the chances that they have the same there? name? What about this? Are you gonna keep your souls of this damned look? in there? Oh wait, look. I know what this is for. Oh, it is MurphyDoor.com. Or Ta da! To really give this bookcase a built-in look, it was painted to match the trim of the rest of the house. If you enjoyed watching us do this project, please like and subscribe. Go check out our other videos and our other projects. And check out our app, Skippy Rock, on the App Store.